In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to write code for Adelphi Objects methods. We will also change a few properties in code, but that is just some extra code to complete this tutorial. In the previous video, you learned how methods work in Delphi. In this video, we will implement some of those methods in our contact information project. I am first going to show you what the program must do. So just sit back for a while and watch what I am doing. I already typed the code for this tutorial, but I will remove it later and then you can type the code when I tell you. Here, I display the contact form in runtime. Let's quickly look at the default values of the components in the contact form. When the user opens the application, this is what he or she will see. The caption of the form is contact form. All the edits are blank. The rich edit here on the bottom is also empty. The default gender in the combo box is male. The default age in the spin edit is 20. And the send newsletter checkbox is checked by default. Ok, now I'm going to fill these fields with information and make some changes on the default values. When I'm done, I'll show you my changes. Ok, I'm done. Let's look at the changes I made. I entered values for all my edits. I changed the gender from male to female. I changed the age from 20 to 30. And I opted not to receive a newsletter, so I unchecked the checkbox. Now I'm going to click on the display button. The display button changes the form's caption from contact form to displaying contact information. The rich edits color also changed from white to yellow. And this line of text was added to the rich edit. We've programmed the display button in unit 8.5. Now, this is the important part. We must now program the onclick event of the reset bitmap button. It must change everything back to the original values when the user clicks it. This is how it must look when the user clicks Reset. Let's see what happened. All the edits were cleared. The rich edit is white again and the line of text was removed. The form's caption changed back to its original value. The combo box shows male again. The age changed back to 20. And the checkbox is checked again. So, we have quite a bit of code to type, so let's get to it. Now, you must also open your contact information project in Delphi and type exactly what I'm typing. To reset all the values that changed, we must program the onclick event of the reset bitmap button. Double click the reset bitmap button. Delphi creates an event handler called BMB reset click. All our code will go here between the begin and end statements. Let's first start clearing all our edits. Remember, you can use the code shortcuts that I demonstrated in the previous tutorial. Let's start with this edit. Type editfirstname.clear The clear method doesn't have brackets and input values, so end the statement with a semicolon. Next, we will clear the surname edit. Type editsurname.clear and the semicolon. Next, we clear the street edit. Type editstreet.clear and end the instruction. The city edit is next. Type editcity.clear and end the instruction. Now the country edit. Type editcountry.clear and semicolon. Now the postal code. On the next line type edt postal code dot clear and semicolon. Next is the telephone number. On the next line type edt telephone dot clear and enter instruction. Our last edit is this one. It's the email edit. Type edt email dot clear and the semicolon. Now, we must also remove this line from the reach edit. So on the next line type redoutput.clear and the semicolon. The next few statements are not method calls, but we must change a few properties to reset them back to their original states. The combo box's default value must be male. This is how we must do it. 
We need to change the item index property of the combo box to change it back to male. An index in programming is always a number. Every item in a combo box has an index number called item index. The first item in a combo box has an item index of 0. Male is our first item. Therefore, male has an item index of 0. The second item in a combo box has an item index of 1. Female is the second item in the combo box. So female has an item index of 1. So we must therefore change the item index to 0 to reset the value to male. Let's do that. Type cbxgender.itemindex colon equals 0 and end your statement. We must also set the value property of the spin edit back to 20. Type sedh.value colon equals 20 and the semicolon. The send newsletter checkbox must be checked when we click reset. So type chk send newsletter dot checked colon equals true and terminate the statement with a semicolon. We are almost done. The form's caption must change back to the phrase contact form. On the next line type frm contact dot caption then the assignment operator and type contact form and enter statement. We must also change the rich edits color back to white. Type red output dot color colon equals cl white and the semicolon. One more thing. The focus shifted a few times from one field to another. When we reset all the fields, we also want to shift the focus to the first name edit. On the next line type edt first name dot set focus and enter instruction. Now let's test our code. Run the application. Type a first name. Type a surname. Select female from the combo box. Change the age to 30 in the spin edit. Type a street name. Type a city name. Type a country name. Type a postal code. Type a telephone number. Type an email address. And uncheck the send newsletter checkbox. First, let's click on the display button. Note the changes in the form's caption and the rich edit changed to yellow. And this line of text was added to the rich edit. Ok, now let's test the reset button. Click the reset bitmap button. Ok, go ahead and make sure all your components are back to their original states. Also make sure that you see the cursor flashing inside the first name edit. That means that the focus is on the first name edit now. Close the application. Click the save all button. In the next tutorial I will demonstrate how to process a string value when adding it to the rich edit. I'll talk to you again in the next video.